What's up guys, Bellamy here, and in today's video we're going to be showing you guys the other side of the coin to the uh, jurors video that I did recently. And instead of being on the jurors bench, you found yourself on the stand this time, and you were convicted and sent to jail for whatever reason, whether you killed your some friendly faction members, or you stole some of their plants out in the wild if they had a hidden farm somewhere. Cool, whatever it is you did, it doesn't matter because there are some easy ways to get yourself out of jail. Now this will be focused on the east side, so if you're a Haranya faction member, this will be way more relevant to you. However, some of these things are more or less the same on the west side as well, so you will still learn a thing or two watching this if you're a west player, or a Nguyen player I should say. So, uh, there are a few little things that you'll find in the jail. I managed to get myself in jail on this day because uh, we had to purple some players out at Kraken whatever reason but there are a number of little things around the jail that you'll be able to do if you just want to wait out the time but sometimes that might not be the option if you have a lot of time but you can see here we got some supply boxes around now you can just break these and they more or less give the same thing they just give an outfit so you get the soccer cleats and then you can get all of the prison outfits so you get the hood the shirt and the pants and you can dress yourself up to look like a bit of a prisoner um so i can i got the shirt here so i can show you guys that does that cool whatever and then we have the soccer cleats as well, which we've got two of those. Now you can use those in both iterations of the jail, whether you're an East or a West player, you can chuck on the soccer cleats and you can play soccer here. There's a goal, uh, like a little mini soccer field in each of the prisons. So if you're in there with multiple people, you can muck around and have fun. Um, here I'm failing to actually spawn the ball. I didn't know that they made that a thing, but anyway, here we got the ball and yep, now look, easy goal. And yeah, so that's that. It gets boring after the first like 30 seconds though, so I don't blame you if you have no interest in doing that. Now we're going to talk about the few ways to get out of jail. Now, the first and most obvious way to get out of jail is to uh, to use these dig piles here and spend a bunch of labor. It will reduce your time in jail by 60 minutes, increase, uh, decrease your infamy points, and it increases your tiredness. Now we'll talk about that in a second. Um, we'll show the, the easy way to get out of jail first as an East player. And then we'll come back and we'll show some more of the on, on how to actually dig out of jail using this method. So the first method of getting out of jail as an East player is going to be to climb to the top of this tower here. Now, it is a little difficult to execute this. I actually managed to nail this first go on recording this video, so that felt pretty good. But essentially what the strat is, is you can kind of cheese your way out of the jail. This is not intended. Uh, but you can get your way out of the jail and you'll still be wanted. So if you get killed by another player or a guard, you'll still go straight back to trial. But a lot of people like to just do this method to kind of go to trial over and over again until they get innocent, therefore reducing their infamy uh, to zero and not being in jail again. So let's rewind that and show you guys exactly what you need to do again. Basically, you want to walk up to this great mesh thing here and you want to kind of put yourself backwards against it, uh, kind of angling into it and then start tapping your S key to backwards uh, backstep against it and you want to get as far back as you can and you'll slightly be able to kind of walk your character over the edge almost until you're basically no longer touching anything and then you can kind of sidestep and jump around the invisible wall that's there once you're around it you can walk up to the regular top of the tower which you normally gain access to by getting keys from digging However, you can just go straight ahead, loot the glider thing, it'll put an item in your bag, you can go out, face towards freedom, and you can go ahead and click this item, and it will allow you to fly out to, you know, outside of the jail. But I got myself out of jail here pretty quickly, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and run over to the guards, get myself killed again, and get myself back into jail, because I still got infamy, um, and, you know, doing this will put me in trial again if I want to go to trial. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go die to some guards and then we're just going to get sent to trial and we're going to hope that we get innocent. So on this time around, I actually managed to get myself innocent, which was pretty cool. So in this case, I would be done. I would be, haven't, wouldn't have to worry about going back into jail again. But with this strategy, essentially what you do is you'll just go to trial. If you get innocent, good. If you get um, guilty, then you go back in, climb to the top of the tower, jump around that edge again and then fly out and have another go and do this over and over again until you eventually get innocent or you know you get a jury that favors you so all right so the next strat is going to be to dig your way out so the the piles of dirt we were looking at earlier you can see that they reduce our infamy by 40 and give us tiredness plus 30 but they also reduce our sentence time by 60 minutes so if you have a timer that's less than 60 minutes in jail, you can go ahead and use this once, spend 500 labor, and you'll be out of jail instantly. 
In this case, I still had some more infamy. I managed to get myself back in jail again, for those of you who didn't realize, but you have a bit I had a bit of extra infamy, so it took me out of jail pretty quickly. Now, when digging, I did get a tower gate shard key. So, um sorry, a tower gate key shard. Now, you can combine five of these keys to get yourself a key a full key which can be used to open up the tower and climb to the top legitimately and break out and do the same thing as essentially what we did earlier. Uh, but, you know, it's going to cost you at minimum 2,500 labor, and at that point you're probably going to be out of jail from digging anyway, but you may as well save these up if you do happen to get them. So, you know, in future it may be a free way out of jail if you happen to have the keys ahead of time. So that's cool. Uh, but I still have infamy here because whoever I was killing ended up reporting me after I got sent into jail, so the infamy came after the fact. And I have to send myself back in, but that works out quite nicely for the video. So, we can see if I go back to the pile over here and start digging again, I have just over an hour of uh, jail time this time around. I have about an hour and four minutes, I think I had. So, we can see here that if I dig, it's going to reduce my sentence by 60 minutes again. Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward this a little bit, but we can see it reduced my sentence by 60 minutes here. So, I only got just about a minute left. We can see I entered with about a minute, uh, sorry, an hour and four minutes, so that worked out quite nicely. My infamy, I still have a little bit of that left because I had a little over however much it had. It, it reduced it by 40, so I had a little bit more. That's whatever. But I have a minute left. I can go ahead and wait that out, or I could go over here and do the other workstation, we'll call it, um, and you can go ahead and butcher some mice, and that can reduce your infamy and reduce your time a little bit as well, and give you a bit of tiredness. So we can see here this one costs 50 labor, it's going to reduce our sentence by 3 minutes, give us a little bit less infamy, and yeah, it's going to give us a bit of tiredness as well, but we're already out of jail, so that doesn't really matter. We're done and dusted. I could have waited the minute, but for the fact of showing for the video, yeah, that's an easy way to get out of jail. Now, if you happen to get too much tiredness. If you, for some reason, have too much uh, time in jail where you have four, five, six hours or something as a sentence and you happen to have too much, you can cap at 100 tiredness, at which point you will no longer be able to actually work to reduce your sentence. You won't be able to spend labor, even if you happen to have more. However, you can go ahead and go back into the cells of the jail and once the cells are open, they open and close every 10 minutes, I believe, you'll be able to go in and lay down on a pile of hay, and that'll take about 10 minutes for that uh, to, that kind of animation to finish. Once that happens, your tiredness goes away, and you can go ahead and continue to dig. So that's pretty cool. If you, for some reason, have a really, really long um, amount of jail time, you can go ahead and do this. But for the most part, you'll more likely get yourself out pretty quickly just digging one or two times if you happen to have, you know, under two hours of jail time. So if you want to get yourself out and you don't mind spending a bit of labor, that's a good strat for you to use. Otherwise, go ahead and use the trial strat and get yourself up the tower for free. The third strat, which is the one that if you happen to go into jail quite often and you're digging yourself out, you'll most likely end up with five tower fragments or the key tower fragments and you can combine them open the door at the base of the tower, and then get yourself out the regular way um, through the top of the tower, which is kind of what we cheesed our way through uh, when doing the first strategy. So that's pretty cool. Three easy ways to get yourself out of jail. Obviously, there's a fourth strat, which is to just wait the time out and not do anything. That's completely possible too, but with the AFK kick timer, you're going to have to be semi not AFK at your computer to get that done. But nevertheless, getting out of jail is pretty easy these days. You can break your way out in, you know, two different ways, or you can earn your way out by just spending a bit of labor. I wouldn't suggest spending the labor. I tend to swing more towards just breaking out using the tower strategy, but nevertheless, whatever suits you is whatever. And obviously, if you're a West player, apologies. I do not know of any ways to sneaky break out. I am aware that there is a way. I just don't know what it is. So ask around in your faction, maybe. But other than that, you can obviously do the work to get yourself out as well. And all of those things still apply. So you'll be able to dig to get your way out. Uh, I presume it's chopping up mice as well or something along those lines similar. It shouldn't be too hard to find and then you'll be able to sleep on the bales of hay as well. Just be careful not to slip on the bar of soap that you happen to find in the jail. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know I'm still just getting through super basic stuff in the old Ark Age survival guide, but nevertheless we're going to get into some co more complicated stuff as time goes on. We're just trying to get through some of the super basic stuff for all of those new players out there that 
you know, want a little bit of extra information on niche things that necessarily they won't know automatically or find out uh, kind of intuitively. So cool. We did that. Jail. Fun. Awesome, guys. You know how to break out of jail. You know how to own your way out of jail. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Arcade Survival Guide. Cheers, guys.